Question 25. Two points are plotted on the grid. Hay dos puntos. Which equation in slope-intercept form best represents the line that passes through these two points? Okay, so I need an equation. Necesito una equación in slope-intercept form. Okay, so what is slope-intercept form? ¿Qué es slope-intercept form? That is y equals mx plus b, where m and b are numbers, okay? So this is slope-intercept form. ¿Qué es slope-intercept form? Slope-intercept form es esta ecuación, y equals mx plus b, donde m y b son números, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. So there's going to be three parts. Hay tres partes. Part one, parte uno. I need to find the slope. Necesito encontrar el slope. Slope is m. Slope is m. M. And there's a formula for that. Hay una formula por este. So you're going to look here in your in your reference material. You're going to go to the third section, el tercer sección. This is slope. M equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. I will be using that formula. Y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And I need two points for that. Necesito dos puntos por este. So let's go ahead and find those points. Vamos a encontrar estos puntos, x, y, x, y. Okay, so here I have two numbers. x, right, this line is x. x is negative 2. y is 6. So I have negative 2, comma, 6. And I need one more, this one. So here I have x, 1 y negative four one negative four okay so i'm going to go ahead and do x one y one x two y two okay let's go ahead and do this okay y two is negative four minus y one is six divided by x two is one minus x1 is negative 2. So one minus for this formula and another minus, otro menos for the number. Let's go ahead and put in the calculator. Negative 4 minus 6, negativo 4 menos 6. Negative 4 minus 6 is 9. Negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. Divide, right? Because you have a divide. 1 minus minus 2, 1 minus minus 2 is 3. And then you're going to put in the calculator negative 10 divided by 3, and it's the same. It's igual, negativo 10 entre 3. So negative 10 thirds. This is my slope. Mi slope M. This is my slope M. Part 2. Okay, part 2, I have M. Tengo M. It's negative 10 thirds. And then... I need an X and a Y. Necesito un X y griega. So you can pick one point. Necesitamos un punto. I will go ahead and do point one. I want to do number one. So it doesn't matter which one. No importa cuál. X will be negative two. Y will be six. And I need to find B. Necesito encontrar la B. And to do that, I will use this formula, the slope-intercept form formula. You can find it here. It is y equals mx plus b slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. Let's go ahead and put our numbers in. y is 6 equals m is negative 10 thirds. x is negative 2 in parentheses plus b. Parentheses first, parentheses primero. Let's put that in the calculator. So you're going to do, for the fraction, por la fracción, you're going to do control, divide. That's how you make a fraction. Okay, you're going to put negative 10, oops, down 3, go to the right, parenthesis, negative 2, parenthesis, 20 cube, 20 thirds, sorry, 20 thirds, 20 tercios equals copy plus b, copy 6. I want b alone, quiero la b sola, but b is not alone, pero la b no está sola. I have 20 
thirds, tengo 20 tercios. This is positive, es positivo. The opposite is negative, el opuesto es negativo. So minus 20 thirds. When you do an opposite, you copy. Cuando hago un opuesto, necesito copiar. So we're going to put that in the calculator. 6 minus, and then the fraction, we're going to do control, divide, 20, down 3, enter, negative 2 thirds, equals, this is 0, cancels, copy down B, and we're going to go ahead and switch. B equals negative 2 thirds. So that's my B. Okay, and then part 3, I will do it over here. Part 3, you have Y equals MX plus B. And I need M and B as numbers. Necesito M y B como números. So Y equals M is negative 10 thirds. X plus B is negative 2 thirds. Okay, plus minus is minus. Más y menos es menos. So Y equals negative 10 thirds X minus 2 thirds. This is my answer. Okay, so plus and minus is minus. Más y menos es menos. Um, and remember, Y and X are letters in the final answer. En la respuesta final, Y y X son uh, letras. And M and B are numbers. Y M y B son números. So my answer for this is going to be D because it's exactly the same. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.